We found it. This is the cave right here. And look, see all the bats? There's about 150 bats streaming out of this deep black mouth every single minute, and that's why this place is so special. But we're not here to see the bats, are we? Oh no, we're here to see the snakes. Deep in the Yucatan Peninsula, there's a small Mayan town called Cantemo. With a population of just 380, it's a quiet place, except it hides a secret, a cave where snakes supposedly hang from the ceiling. And today, we're going to find it. But first, a sponsor that helped make this adventure happen. Now, you might wonder how I stay healthy on the road as I drag myself through jungles caves and bat guano. Well, today's video sponsor is a company called Athletic Greens, and it's a brand I've been using for years. AG1 is a daily supplement with 75 ingredients that can replace a whole cabinet worth of stuff that I don't have room for in my suitcase, like vitamins, minerals, and probiotics. Getting sick sucks, especially when you're traveling. So whether it's eating bee larvae in the Congo, or whatever this soup is in the Philippines, I do what I can to keep myself healthy on the road. What I normally do when I'm not in a cave is I take a pack, open it up, woo, and it goes into a big glass of water in the morning. You shake it all up, and it turns this magical green color. All the good stuff in the world is green, right? And on the go, you can stay healthy, even in a cave, if you want to. Like I said, I'd already been using AG1 for years before they approached the sponsor Fearless and Far. Maybe you've got some fitness and nutrition goals for the new year, and if you do, add this to the mix. I've got a link below, athleticgreens.com slash fearless and far if you want to check it out. And if you do use that link to order, they'll send you five free travel packs. Obviously a big fan over here of those. And also they'll give you a little bottle of vitamin D3 and K2 for free, for free. For us, what's next? You know, it's the snakes right this way, right after you down that dark pit. You scared? Don't be. There's only snakes and bats. I mean, we haven't seen any snakes yet, but uh, so far, this place is living up to the reputation. Look at them all. All right, there's a few things to keep in mind here. Number one, yes. helmets are required because if you've ever knocked your noggin on limestone, it hurts a lot. And when you're dodging bats and snakes, it's easy to hit your head. As well, you know, snake protection, right? <laughs> Secondly, we have head torches, and now we are allowed to use white light. The red is for later, though, because I'm not sure if you knew this, but if I can get it on white, is that red light, like this, does not ruin your night vision. So even if yourself, you're walking around at night, you can put on your red light, it doesn't ruin it. Um, same with snakes, same with a lot of animals. But for now, we're using white. And once we get deeper into the more sensitive area, we'll be using red. Cool, so helmet on, backpack ready, got some water, got some camera gear, and I got a sense of adventure. How about you? I always know you do. Vamos. Bats. <laughs> Let's head inside. Let's quickly meet some of the characters of this adventure, yeah? This is Maria Jesus, one of the few guides who braves the caves here. Her, along with Adrian, Baltazar, and Edgar, lead what few tourists venture this deep into Yucatan to see it. I'm also here with Arturo from Tours Sukun, an expert adventure guide, musician, and my main contact here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Maria Jesus lives in the village right beside the cave, and she's dedicated her life to showing people this place. But I have to ask her the obvious uh, question. Miedo de los serpientes? 
No tengo miedo de las serpientes. Scared of snakes? My favorite animal. Your favorite animal? Yeah, I actually have one as pet. Really? <laughs> yes. Arturo, there's so many, man. Hundreds of pets. I'm not too tired. Look, yeah? look up there, look right? Them, yeah. uh -huh. Look back there. You know, one of the benefits of uh, not having hair is no bats get stuck. Oh man. You, you though. Yeah, then this is a bat trap now. <laughs> a bat trap. Yeah. It's not my hair anymore. Sucks to be you. Hey, that actually doesn't happen. That's a total lie. Bats don't get caught in your hair. Don't believe that stuff. <laughs> We continue into the cave. For about 90 minutes every day at dusk, between 100 and 150 bats a minute leave the cave and search for food. The time has come for the spectacle. The big show is actually just up there. It's now a bit darker, so you can't see me very well or what I'm looking at. But where the red lights are, inside is where all of the snakes live. And uh, we have to switch our red lights on so that we don't disturb them in the natural habitat. So, ready? Oop, that's the opposite of what I want. That's what we're going for. Whoa, almost got hit in the face by a bat. <laughs> wow, man, they're coming out of there so fast. It's like uh, being shot with giant furry bullets. They come, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but they come right like an inch from my face. <laughs> this passage is only about two and a half feet tall. So you can see the ceiling's just right here. And uh, we gotta crawl on our bellies to make it through. So I've got a question for you. Which one are you scared of more? Confined spaces, snakes, or bats? What about all three? <laughs> wow, the air is hot, thick. This guano and that breath. Then she finds one, our first hanging snake, hunting in the darkness. Okay, 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 let me uh, switch my lens so you guys can see better. Maybe we can catch him actually catching something. Maria carefully turns on a dim white light so we can see it better. But as we switch flashlights and camera lenses, the snake catches a bat and retreats. We missed it. So he, he caught one, yeah? Yeah. See any? Yeah, already ate. Ah, uh, so he just missed it. There he is, just a foot in front of me. And we got here, we saw him hang for a second. We got our bearings, whoop, and then he caught it and then went back into the cave. Okay, well, let's keep looking. That's just one in the first five minutes in here. We head down a different branch because Maria wants to show us something. What is it, water? Yeah, right out here. Yeah? Come man. Okay. A surprise, I like surprises. It's a very good one. A good surprise, even better. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two. Oh, the. Oh. So we struck the jackpot. There's blind cave creatures, blind albino cave creatures. This is. These are really rare, guys. You have to understand that these creatures only live in the purest water. Like they're extremely sensitive. I pop a GoPro into the water so we can see better. And look, albino troglobitic shrimp living in complete darkness and a white lady this fish is endemic to these cenotes they have no pigment and if you look closely they have no eyes either wait an albino eel yeah really <laughs> where this is a blind swamp eel an endangered species that feeds on the albino shrimp that we just saw. 
It's very rare. Just so people understand how lucky we are, how, what are the chances of seeing an albino blind eel in this case? It's really, really small, man. So I really, I cannot know how to transmit this feeling, but uh, from the 230 synopsis that I have been to, throughout my whole life. Which is a lot. A lot. Like, just to imagine that number, it is the first time that I have seen this eel. I have seen the shrimp, I have seen the white lady several right. times, uh -huh. I have seen the cochinilla also, or the three together, but it's the first time that I see eels. Uh -huh. And like, it is like a one of a, 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 a lifetime chance. I got so lucky. Yeah. Maybe it's my good luck charm. <laughs> You're hired. Let me tell you something. My favorite days, adventuring with you guys are the days or I get a little bit dirty. And as you can tell, we're getting really dirty. This creature is another creature of the cave. It's a tailless whip scorpion. And it might look like it's from your nightmares, but it is quite friendly. And not too unlike the snakes we're here to find. So he or she, I can't tell, hunts in the dark with these modified arms right here. See them? And they sweep them back and forth like an antenna array. And maybe you're a cockroach, a little critter in here, touches one of these and it has two appendages in the front that have these claws and it gulps it down really quickly. And yeah, I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. We continue deeper for a better chance to see the snakes. Where do we go? In, in this hole here? Here, yeah, here. <sighs> Vamos. It's time for the red light. All good? All good. It's a little bit, like, tight, but <laughs> I am also small, so <laughs> it balances the thing. A little bit tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We can do it, man. We can do it, man. I can do it. We can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I didn't quite know what I was looking at at the time. A mix of scales, skin, and fur. The snake was suffocating a bat, and then, right in front of the camera, it unfurls to eat it. It's rare to see this moment. We came at a fantastic time. An animal perfectly adapted for this act, hanging in complete darkness sensing the body heat of its passing prey and snatching them out of the air in a split second every day at dusk. As far as we know, it's the only place in the world where this happens. These snakes do horrible things to bats and after feeding, this one seems curious of what we're doing so deep in its lair. Do you want to see the sinister face of this cold-hearted killer? Meet the yellow-red rat snake. Maybe not what you expected. It's non-venomous and harmless to humans. And honestly, it's pretty freaking cute, right? Mission complete. It's torta time. Do you know what a torta cubana is? It's probably the most ridiculous sandwich I've seen in my entire life. It's famous in Mexico, and tonight that's gonna be our dinner, right? Delicious. <laughs> Stay tuned for this culinary monster. Don't look, don't look. This is it right here. The grand unveiling of the torta cubana. Literally the everything sandwich. Hot dogs, chicken, ham, what else do you see? Beans, cheese, onions, cheese, salami, lettuce. <laughs> Usually something you want to share with a friend. Luckily, I got one. That's right. It's Arturo from Tours Sukun. And if you want to come here, see some hanging snakes, 
He's your guy. Or, and what else do you do? Anywhere, Everything. Like uncharted caves, uncharted cenotes, to go uh, explore, explore some Mayan ruins, go and hiking in the jungle, do some jungle camping, diving, anything you, you like. Mm. Uh -huh. Big love to our video sponsor as well, AG1 by Athletic Greens. When you eat stuff like this, you really gotta make sure <laughs> you stay healthy. Check out the link if you wanna help the channel. Thank you. We'll enjoy the sandwich, and we'll see you in the next Until video. Until next time.